Hey guys, welcome to the FIFA 21 Team of the Season David Alaba Player Review. So first things first, I want to give a big shout out to my friend Drew for lending me his account. I'm eternally grateful because I simply could not afford Alaba given the bloodbath I've taken on coins recently. So thank you for that bro. So for this review, I used Alaba as my left centre back in the 4-4-2 formation and I used him with the shadow camp style. So let's see how this Team of the Season Alaba card played for me in some Division Rivals gameplay. So let's cover Alaba's pace and he has some insane pace stats for a centre-back. A combination of 86 sprint speed with 87 acceleration when further boosted with the shadow chem style, it makes him feel absolutely rapid at the back. He is hands down one of the top 5 quickest centre-backs that I've used and bursting past him for my opponent's attackers was close to impossible because this guy could just stick out a leg and catch up with them and dispossess them effortlessly. His transition speed was also phenomenal when I was attacking or tracking back. So overall, his pace from the centre-back position was a huge, huge pro. A passing with Alaba from the back and spreading the play was an effortless experience. It was so easy because he has some phenomenal passing stats with a combination of 89 vision, 97 short passing and 90 long passing. And when you give him that 4-star weak foot, passing on either foot with him is so ridiculously easy. He is a very effective ball playing centre back and overall his passing from the back was a huge pro. Now Alaba's dribbling and responsiveness are in a class of his own for a centre back. He feels extremely smooth and agile to dribble or even jockey with even in slightly delayed gameplay. His dribbling and jockeying and off the ball movement was just sublime. He is one of the most smoothest defenders that I've used all year. He has amazing dribbling statistics across the board with a combination of 86 agility, 88 balance, 94 ball control and 88 dribbling and with that lean body type, he feels fluid to jockey with and overall his dribbling was just phenomenal. When you combine his insane pace with his defensive stats and that super responsive dribbling, he can literally do it all. His auto and manual interceptions were insane. His tackling was some of the smoothest that I've used all year and extremely clean. And his defensive positioning, even though he has the medium winner work rates on stay back while attacking instructions, was just sublime. Defending with Alaba was an extremely rewarding experience and he was just simply outstanding and one of the best centre-backs that I've used all year. Now this Alaba card also has some insane physicality to his game. He has 89 strength which is more than adequate from the centre-back position. He has 87 aggression and this is the part that I really like with this card. Now I could easily manually press my opponent's attackers using this Alaba card because his jockeying, his dribbling, his aggression and his defensive stats was just sublime and aggressively pressing my opponent's attackers was one of my favorite things to do with this card. So that was just insane. He has 97 jumping, he stands at 5 foot 11 and will win you most headers he contests and he has 88 stamina and with those medium medium work rates he isn't pushing out anywhere and he will last you 120 minutes effortlessly. Now you can actually shoot with this Alaba card because he has the long shot taker trait. So outside the box, try rocketing it across goal and it might just fly in one or two times. He has 90 shot power and 89 long shots. So outside the box, bang it. And if you get the chance to shoot with him inside the box, his 96 composure will definitely help you. And if you get a chance to shoot with him on his left foot, just bang it in and it will really test the keeper for the most part. So overall, this Alaba card is one of the most versatile cards that I've used. He can be used as a very effective CDM, but in my opinion, the best position for him is still the centre-back position because he was outstanding there. Now, if you're a defender who likes to manual press their opponent's attackers, then this Alaba card is just built for you. He was ridiculously good at doing that. But if you're a defender who just controls his DMs and jockeys with them and leaves his centre-back on AI control, then look elsewhere. You can look at other defenders like a Klosterman or a Varane, etc, etc. But if you're a manual presser, trust me, you're not going to find much better than this card because at manual pressing with Alaba was a ridiculously good experience. It was super rewarding and a super fun experience and then none better in this game than this card. Now, 850k for this card. It's a tad too steep for me right now because there's so many other good dot centre backs that are going to be coming out and sadly he is Austrian which isn't a great nation. 
I'd say that he's going to go down to about 600k very soon in the next couple of weeks. And for 600k, you honestly can't go wrong with this card because he has such premium stats. But he will keep crashing further and further as you progress into team of the season. So any price under 600k for this Alaba card is just phenomenal value because he is simply one of the best defenders that I've used all year. So I'm going to rate this team of the season David Alaba card a 9.4 on 10 and I'm going to give him a value for coins of a 7. If he falls to under 600k, get this card, it's a no-brainer. But if you're a Bayern fan or you have a Bundesliga squad and you want to try this card out and you like manual pressing, there's no better card in the game than this Alaba card. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and if you did, please drop a sub on the channel and a like on the video. It would mean the world to me and have a great day ahead guys.